So today is going to be, as you can tell by the title, a little reading. No, it's going to be a book shopping vlog because I need some new books. Well, I don't, but I want to get some. So there's one specific book that I've come to get and that is The Crimson Moth. It's one of my most highly anticipated reads of the year. So I'm going to head in. But first I need to go for a wee because I've literally drunk a whole can of Red Bull on my way here. And then we're going to go to Waterstones and see what books they have. I'm trying to only pick up books that are on my wish list at the minute because sometimes I'll go book shopping and I end up buying just like books that sound interesting and I always find that those are the books that stay on my shelf and go unread for like a year or two so I'm only going to pick up books that are on my wish list and books that I know I'm going to enjoy that never happens I feel like I'm gonna come out with a lot of books I want to say my goal is no more than six books but let's go cheer ourselves up with some books There's another water zones that I want to go to that have the book that I want. So I'm going to head there, but I've just had to change my coat because it's pissing down. Let's run to the next water zones. I have no idea where I'm going. It's really scary. the Hannah Whitney book which is the Fox Club King because it wasn't in the last Waterstone so I had to pick it up from here. And I'm really debating getting Bride by Ali Hazelwood because I'm not an Ali Hazelwood fan but I am thinking about getting Bride. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm debating it. I'm so impulsive. I said I wasn't going to buy any more books but I've got like nine books now. I need help. <gasps> I just picked this up in the last Waterstones and this one's got sprayed edges. I really want to get this one instead but I can't. I did some damage. So as you've seen, definitely got more than I was expecting. But I have no control. Like, I walk into a bookshop and I just lose all control. I'm going to show you first the full box. Y yesterday was when I went book shopping. But the day before that was when I was in London. And I picked up four books at WH Smith in Paddington Station. I'm going to show you them first because it's basically one big book haul, you know. So I firstly picked up Blood Flowers by Jay McGuinness. I have no idea what this is about. But the back said, a young man caught between two worlds, an explosive story of love, witchcraft, betrayal and murder to make your heart race. Jay McGuinness is a major new voice in YA. So anything that has witchcraft, a love story and things like betrayal I'm here for. So I picked this up and I've seen this everywhere. Cinderella's Dead. No, Cinderella is Dead by Helen Bayron. And I have no idea what this is about. I don't know whether it's a Cinderella retelling. It's 200 years since Cinderella found her prince but the fairy tale is over. Oh. And I got Ninth House by Lee Badugo. I think that's who you say it. But I've seen this everywhere. People have raved about this. And there's a second book which I picked up yesterday. And I'm really excited for this because literally I have not seen a bad thing be said about this. 
this. And then I picked the happy place because it's now in the paper bag and I didn't want to get the hardback because I only like fantasy hardbacks. I'm not an Emily Henry girl at all. I've tried to read Book Lovers and Beach Read and I could not get into them. I hated them both. Well, hate is a strong word, but they were like a two or three stars for me. I really didn't enjoy them. And I think it was Emily Henry's writing that I just didn't get along with. But I've heard that this is a second chance romance and if you know me, I love a second chance. So I thought, let's give Emily Henry a second chance and read Happy Place. Those were the four books that I got in London. Now let's move on to what I actually bought yesterday. This is where I actually went in to get Crimson Moth by Kristen Sicarelli. I think that's how you say her surname. But this has been on my like wish list for so long. It came out, I can't remember when it came out, recently, very recently. Like, it is nothing that I've ever read but it's a witch and a witch hunter. So the female main character is a witch and the male main character is a witch hunter. And like even on the back it says a steamy game of cat and mouse between witch and witch hunter played out against the backdrop of opulence, secrets and bloody history. I then picked up the Poppy War trilogy. I don't know what the series is called. I don't know whether it's just called the Poppy War trilogy. My friend Danny recommended me this book series. She said it's a must read. Like she said it's so good. If you watched my Jessa Hastings vlog, which I think you should because it's so amazing, then Danny was in that video and she said for me to read these and they had all three books in the Waterstone. So I was like, I'm just gonna pick up all three because my toxic trait is picking up the whole series without even reading the first book. And then I picked up a coat, this cruel and lovely. This has been on my Amazon wish list for so long. It sounds so good. Just hours after humans are born, gods take what little power we have. In return, they protect our borders from the vicious, merciless fae. Anything with fae, I know I'm gonna love. This is a trilogy, I think. There's other books. A kingdom, this cursed and empty crown, this cold and heavy. They didn't have the other books there, otherwise I would have bought the whole series. And then this is Hellbent. This is the second book to the ninth house. Um, I don't know whether it's just a trilogy. Duology, I mean, not trilogy. I think it might just be a duology. I do own Six of Crows duology. I haven't read it yet. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet who hasn't read it. So I need to read that. I think I want to read... Do I need to read that before I read this? I know like some authors do like a multiverse with like crossovers. So let me know if I need to read the, any of the other series before I read these. And then I've recently discovered who Hannah Witten is. I recently read this, which was literally a five-star read. I absolutely loved it. I had then seen that the second book was there. So I had to pick the second book, which is For the Throne. It's the Wilderwood series. This is book one and book two. And then I didn't know that Hannah Witten was a Foxglove King author. So when I seen this in the other Waterstones, I was like, I really need this. I'm really excited to read this. And also this because this was left on a cliffhanger, so I really need to read this. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 13, and I said at the start of this vlog I was only going to be getting 5 or 6. And I got 13. Ah, four of them I did get in London, so I guess they don't really count on this particular trip. And let me know about the Hellbent, the Liba Dugo books. If I need to like read any of the other books, are they like part of a multiverse? Let me know. And also make sure you subscribe down below and show me some love because I will greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!